Okay, Ken, we just got it up on the We just got it up on the on the telemonitor now. Excuse me, John, go ahead. Over. This is a full zoom on a lens, so it actually is a little smaller than this on your screen. It's hardly enough uh, to make any definitions out of it all. Uh, 10, uh, Houston, we can uh, apparently make out uh, the Mari. The uh, colors on our Viticon are, uh, has a greenish cast to it, uh, but I think the, the color quality for the, uh, the commercial is a little bit better than this, but I... We can't see the Mari on it, over. Roger, at, at about 110,000 miles, I don't think you'd expect to see very much. a couple of minutes before the, before the Earth comes around, so let us show you the interior. Uh, Roger, we're standing by for your smiling face. Okay. I've heard of the big eye before, but the big hand is ridiculous. Okay, Ten, I think we're uh, looking at uh, Tom's uh, right uh, left shoulder there now, and uh, the sun coming in his window. Yeah, there's his old grinning face, clean shaven. Roger, this is a remarkable innovation. Uh, after spending a lot of money on mechanical shavers, which always managed to leave the whiskers lying around the atmosphere, somebody finally came up with the idea of using a straight razor and Brushless shaving cream. You rub it on, it keeps the whiskers when you shave it off. Put it in a towel and dispose of it, and you end up clean shaven. And after eight days of wearing a beard, I guess you're looking at a couple of guys who aren't much hippies. That's amazing, Tim. Absolutely. That's what the space age does for you. I tell you, Charlie, that's one of the most refreshing things that's happened in the last couple of days. That was really great. You guys really look good, Gene. Over. You know, it actually, you know, it feels a lot different. We were getting uh, where we could barely stand ourselves there for a while. We'll take you down into the lower equipment bay and show you how different our navigator looks today compared to yesterday. On the panel in front of it, you can see the lower equipment bay with the guidance and navigation panel that John works all the time to determine our position and attitude. There's a one-eye. We got him. much difference today, is there? You're, you're right, boy. You're right. John likes to play in here. Every time he gets something in his hand, he, he has to do something different to it. How's the color coming in now, Charlie? Over. 
Uh, right, the interior colors are uh, fine. A uh, little greenish tinge, but I think that's a problem we got, uh, Tom, uh, with our uh, converter here uh, in building 30. Uh, the uh, the exterior also had a quite a greenish uh, tinge to it, but uh, uh, it's uh, it's better than the black and white. The black and white has a lot better definition, however, though. Okay, we'll take you outside now and show you how the Earth looks today. It's starting to get bigger as we approach 100,000 miles. Now, Roger, we'll stand by for your commentary. We have it then, out. Okay, yeah, uh, Okay, again, as you look at the... Pardon me, again, as you look at the Earth, it's upside down, so to keep all of you from standing on your heads, we'll just turn the camera upside down for the convenience of your viewing pleasure here. Charlie, uh, we'll be looking at uh, at the east coast of, uh, of the United States, primarily down from uh, off the tip of Florida. Actually, uh, to us here, we can see the uh, Grand Bahama Banks. You can see the uh, color changes in the water. Uh, you can see most of Florida. It looks like most all the Gulf of Mexico is uh, extremely clear. The uh, Gulf Coast of, uh, of the United States, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, down through Texas, all looks clear. We can look on across uh, from Houston all the way to, uh, into the San Joaquin Valley, uh, all the way into the Los Angeles area, coming over the horizon into Baja, California. We're we're vertically right now uh, above the earth, somewhere between uh, Caracas and Panama. <laughs> uh, Charlie, how does the TV look to you down there? All right, uh, 10, it's uh, looking uh, real good. Uh, black and white uh, is excellent uh, definition. Uh, color is uh, coming through on the commercial real fine. Uh, our Viticon here in the, on the big screen has uh, got a real a lot of greens to it, but uh, on commercially, it's uh, looking great, over. Is it saturating right now? Uh, negative. Only uh, in the uh, North Pole area where it's uh, the cloud banks are pretty heavy, and then only partially up there. So uh, we've got one clear spot up towards the uh, Arctic Circle uh, that uh, we can't uh, figure out what is what it is. Uh, could you uh, uh, give us a little rundown on that? Over. Okay. Wait just a minute. It's starting to disappear off the left hatch window, and John will take the. Uh, camera there and go right and take it out to our center hatch window. And here you can see the earth as it starts to go out the left side window. Roger. Uh, Dan, uh, Houston, uh, we got uh, just 30 seconds left on the high gain on this uh, pass. this time, Charlie, but that big uh, low-pressure uh, cloud uh, cell, very distinctive over the Alaskan area, Aleutian area, is uh, very distinctive to us with the naked eye. Uh, we, we can't quite get it for you out the uh, hatch window at this time as we're going. Uh, Roger. Uh, we'll uh, stand by then. Uh, uh, we got about 20 seconds left or so, and uh, if you want to show us, uh, it'll be uh, stand by. Eight more minutes, and we'll have the high gain back if you want to keep the camera up, over. Uh, 